In this lecture, you will learn about the various transaction attributes that are available in the Java EE standard. Let's consider an example of stock selling application, wherein typically any J2E application is divided into layers. We put our code across layers. So we have a controller class in the UI layer, we have a services class in the business logic layer, and then we have a DAO class in the data access layer, which does all the database work. So the transaction can be started in the controller, in the service layer, or in the DAO layer. So when these services or when these classes call into each other, the one calling is the client and the one responding back is the provider of that service. So if the transaction can be created here, here, and here, so we need to control whether we want to reuse a transaction created in the UI layer inside the service or we want to create a new transaction or we don't want to use a transaction at all. All that can be controlled using transaction attributes. Typically, we start the transaction in the services layer. So here is the transaction attribute type class in the EJB standard or in the EJB API that we can use. It's an enumeration. It provides us different values like mandatory, required, requires new, supports, not supported, and never. So we can mark our classes and methods with the transaction attribute and give these values to that transaction attribute annotation to tell the container how we want to manage the transaction. So let's start with the mandatory. So the method A could be in the services layer. If it is calling the method B on the DAO layer, if it is mandatory, if we mark the method B as with the mandatory annotation or a mandatory attribute type, then A should create a transaction before it calls B. If there is no transactional context before A calls B, then the container throws a EJB transaction required exception. So if you want to mandate, that's when we use mandatory as a transaction attribute. Second one, required. We will use this to tell the container that we need a transaction before method A calls method B. If there is no transaction, the container will create one. Requires new, as the name itself says, if the client has a transaction, the transaction will be suspended. The container will create a new transaction for method B. And once that method finishes, again, the old transaction used by A will be continued and method A will be wrapped up with the old transaction. So requires new, the container will always create a new transaction for the method that is being called. Supports, as the name itself says again, support simply supports a transaction. We can create a transaction in method A or we need not create it at all. There is no issue. All we are telling the container is method B supports a transaction. And if method A wants to call method B in a transactional context, it can do that. Not supported. We are telling the container that method B doesn't support transaction. The container will suspend any transaction that is created by A until B is executed and the transaction will continue once B completes and if there is any code in A after it calls B, that part of the code will be executed in the transaction A has created. So container temporarily suspends the transaction and it will resume it once B which doesn't support transaction finishes. Finally, we have never which is opposite to the first type of transaction attribute we had. So if we try to call method B from a client class, which has a transaction, which has created a transaction, then the container will throw a EJB exception if we mark it using the transaction attribute never. By default, the transaction attribute, if we don't mark it, it is required. The container assumes required and it will create a transaction if a transaction is not there. But we can mark it with all these different types of transactions starting from transaction attributes starting from mandatory, required, which is the default, requires new, where the container will create a new transaction for the new method, supports, it just supports, there is no need of a transaction to be created to call that method, not supported, there are trans the container will stop the transaction for the time being and then it will continue the transaction on the parent method or the actual client method which is calling, never will throw a EJB exception if we try to 
call a method which is marked with never within a transactional context.